Okay guys, so I forgot to go over something on the Inspire. So Samantha's going to listen in while I go over this. So first thing we're going to do is turn on our Inspire. Okay, and then we're going to focus this so that Brian can see what we're doing here. Okay, now on this page here, focus this a little bit better here. I was coming into a problem here. I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to go to New Documents, click No to save. Okay, then I want to add a graph. Okay, and again, it's not focusing very well here. So we want to graph the cube root function. So if we press Control and then the caret key here, and we put the 3 in for the cube root, arrow over, put the X in. Okay, when I was graphing this earlier, press Enter. It's working now, but it only graphed this portion earlier, and I couldn't figure out why. So I finally figured it out. So if your calculator is giving you a problem where it's only graphing this portion here and not this portion down here, if you go into, I believe it's menu, go down, I believe this is the settings. Mm. Nope, that's not the right one. Let's go to on. Let's escape out of there. On. Let's go to this settings. Okay. And then if you go to document settings. Okay. Right here where it says real and complex. It needs to say real. Right here. Real. Um, mine, mine said rectangular, and I changed it to real, so if I enter, you can see rectangular there, but you want to change it to real. And then you want to go down to the bottom, and you want to make it de make as the default setting. And click OK, and then it should graph it with no problem. Okay. Um, one other thing I'd like to teach you real quick is, let's go back to the graph. Okay. So I found out that if you want to, let's clear this off, I don't want that on there. So, I wish this would clear up. So if you're going to graph something, let's say we're going to graph x um, plus 2. Okay? And we graph that, and we see the whole thing. Let's say that we only want, we want to constrain it, so that we only see what's in the first quadrant. So we want, only want to see the domain x greater than or equal to 0. So if we go back to the equation, and here's the problem. How do you go back to the equation? Let's try clicking on the line. No. Let's try clicking on this thing. Try again. Click on it again. There we go. So right here where it says control, if you press control and then there's these symbols here, okay, you need to use the bar first and then we want X and we're going to press that again control equal and we want everything greater than or equal to zero and I guess you don't have to close it let's try now enter and notice it constrained it so that all you see of the graph is everything greater than or equal to zero in the domain. Anyway, I thought that was neat. Thought I'd pass that on to you. Thanks for watching the extra video tonight.